The screencast covers materials from Module 2, Lesson 14, based on the problem sets. It's very much like yesterday's screencast and yesterday's lesson, except yesterday we were, we were working with larger units and converting to smaller units. Today we're going to work with smaller units and convert to large. Okay, the first step, the first problem here um, is convert quarts to gallons. And we know that quarts are less than gallons or smaller than gallons. And they kind of help us out here by giving us a fraction right here. So, what do we do? Well, we have our units initially uh, the same unit as the left hand side. So, we're simply going to write in the number 20. Now, we're changing the unit from a one quart to a quarter gallon. There are four quarts in a gallon, so one gallon or one quart is a fourth of a gallon. So, we are, these two amounts are equal, they're the same. So let's continue. We copy the 20 down once again. Now we are multiplying 20 times 1 fourth. 20 times 1 fourth is the same as 20 times 1 over 1 fourth. So we can simplify that in 20 as our numerator and 4 as our denominator. Now, fractions are really division problems, so that is 20 fourths. We can get into a whole bunch of fractions now, but uh, we'll get into that later. 20 fourths, well, there would be 5, okay? Let's think of quarters, right? Twenty two dollars would be 5 quarters, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. The answer is 5 gallons. Let's do another example. Okay, this one is meters to or centimeters to meters. Let's get started. We're going to simply copy down the 920 times one centimeter. We'll copy that 920 again. And a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. We're going to re represent that as a decimal because that's one of the conventions we tend to use decimals when we're talking about uh, the metric system. Now what are we going to do uh, with that? Well we are going to use our place value chart. I have one hundredths, one tenths, my decimal, ones, tens, and hundreds. And I'm going to place my original number right there. Well, I'm kind of multiplying that by one-tenth by, and by one-tenth. One-tenth times one-tenth twice. That means we're going to move each one of these digits over two decimal places. So we're going to end up with nine in the ones place, two in the tenths place, and zero in the hundredths place. So my answer becomes this. We could also look at this another way. We could say we have one hundredth times nine hundred twenty, which equals nine hundred twenty hundredths. And if we convert nine hundred twenty hundredths to standard form, we get nine and two tenths, or nine and twenty hundredths. Uh, both ways. I just wanted to point uh, those out to you. This, some of these problems are a little unusual in that they're kind of de we're dealing with fractions uh, for the first time this year. Uh, but uh, I don't think there should be any major problem with that. Uh, we can work it through the place value chart or using what we already know uh, from this chapter. Let's do another example. Now we have meters to kilometers. So again I'm going to use the frame they have for me here and I'm going to copy 1578 times one meter. And again what do we have here? Well they're going to convert those meters. Okay, One meter is the same as one thousandth of a kilometer. 
So let's copy that down. 1,578. All right, so let's think of this as one thousandth times one thousand five hundred seventy eight. And that equals one thousand five hundred seventy eight thousandths. And in standard form, that's one and five hundred seventy eight thousandths. So our answer in kilometers is one and five hundred seventy eight kilometers. Moving right through. Okay, a jug of syrup holds 12 cups. Convert 12 cups to pints. Now we don't have a frame here. And we're also supposed to make a statement uh, at the end. So let's get started with this one. I'm going to have 12 cups equals blank pints. And we have 12 cups equals 12 times one cup. Now we're going to convert that to 12 times. Well, one cup is half a pint. So times one half pint. Well, now we end up with 12 times one half, which is 12 over 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. The answer is six pints. A jug of syrup holds six pints. One last example. A diving board is 378 centimeters. What is the length in meters? Step by step. 378 centimeters equals blank meters is the question here. 378 centimeters equals 378 times 1 meter equals 378 times, well, a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. And again, in decimal form, so, how do we solve this? Well, we're going to look at one hundredth times 378 equals 378 hundredths. And in standard form, that's 3 and 78 hundredths. So the answer is 3 and 7 so three and seventy-eight hundredths, and that was would be in meters. We can make our statement on the bottom. The length of the diving board is three and seventy-eight hundredths meters. That's it. Uh, not too difficult today, uh, so hope that helps you with your homework.